This was an attempted terrorist attack. Thank God the perpetrator did not achieve his ultimate goals. Security now stepped up in New York City after a blast during the morning rush in a busy underground passageway. Four people hurt, including the suspect who was reportedly inspired by ISIS. The blast rocking New York City's Port Authority bus terminal near Times Square. Guy in the hoodie. He's the guy in the hoodie. Video posted to social media claims to show the explosive device going off. The pipe bomb described as a crude one, homemade, strapped to the suspect's body with Velcro and zip ties. And officials say it was intentionally detonated. Responding units found an injured 27-year-old male. We've identified him as Ikeyed Ula. He had burns and wounds to his body. Preliminary investigation at the scene indicates this male was wearing an improvised low-tech explosive device attached to his body. There are reports the suspect, originally from Bangladesh, has been living in Brooklyn and has been in the U.S. for seven years. Police presence increased in the Big Apple today, but officials say there are no other specific or credible threats. Today's attack comes more than a month after a man drove a rented truck on a New York City bike path on Halloween, leaving eight people dead. Firefighters launching into their second week of battling raging wildfires in Southern California. The most challenging blaze is the massive Thomas fire. It has been climbing the list of the largest fires in California's history. It's now in the top five, charring well over 200,000 acres. Daniel Swain, a climate scientist at UCLA, says given the extreme dryness of vegetation, persistent Santa Ana winds, and recent record warmth, the Thomas Blaze could ultimately become the state's biggest ever. The high fire risk is expected to last into January. It's more than just destructive flames impacting Southern California. Smoke, a big issue as well. The National Weather Service warning people to take precautions, avoid outdoor exercise, and drink plenty of fluids.